All right, you two, uh, this is magnificent here. So this is just gonna be a real quick tip. Um, may combine it with some other car tips, may just run this by itself. So just watch for it. Um, so we did uh, uh, like a rhino liner on our bumpers uh, to give it that rough uh, grip look, which we absolutely love. But what happened is, if you guys can see, uh, when one of the kids went to do a touch up, it splattered all over the car. We got here, we got here, um, down over here on this side, right here, if you can see that. And we are actually working to sell this truck. Um, and so we want to put it in as good a condition as possible. And so I was researching online and they said, if you take clay, Set the clay? a regular clay bar, yep and obviously have some sort of moisture base and then you just scrub and this is the moisture base that's left over from the dirt you scrub it'll come right off so this side i've already done as you can see but let me just show you this made me really happy because um trying to like nick the paint off they because these actually raised bumps trying to like scratch it off you can actually take off the paint underneath but the clay won't let you do that so you just sit and scrub and scrub in the same area and make sure to keep it nice and moist. And as you can see, like right here, off. And there's no scratches to the paint, nothing underneath. And then with your clay bar, with your clay bar, you'll notice how it gets dirty. So you want to kind of move it in different places. Otherwise, this portion of the bar with all that black, it'll go right back on your vehicle. So you don't want that to have happen. So I'm just getting it wet again. And I'm one, I'm, I'm one handed right now. So it makes it a little bit harder, but oh, hold on. But you just give yourself a clean area. Make sure there's that moisture underneath. And then you just, you, just do this one right you just keep rubbing and rubbing. And then already on. So you do have to press a good amount, press down hard. So it's a little bit of elbow grease going on, but definitely worth it. And this would also work um, from what I read. I haven't tried it and I don't need to because I don't have it on any glass surfaces. But from the forums that I was reading online, it did say that it would work with um, like your windshield and your, your Shadows right in the. Oh, sorry. It said it would work with like your windshield or like your back window and those kind of things. So, this is my first time using a clay bar, and now it definitely won't be my last because this made me very happy because I was I was concerned. I didn't want to sell it like this, right? With all these speckles, and I was concerned that I would have to sand it down and paint it, which. You guys know how much if you watch it. any of the other videos. I am not a huge fan of sanding, but it's all part of the prep work. You gotta do it. So, just like this, and you just keep moving it. Make sure you got a lot of moisture underneath. And you can pick up clay bars. We'll put a link in the below. In the below. We'll put a link below for you. Uh, but you can pick up clay bars. They have a whole clay set over at like an O'Reilly's or a car place like that. If you don't have an, an O'Reilly's in your town, you can pick up a whole clay bar set. Um, this one that we got actually came with what's called a Bigfoot polishing kit, which we have a video coming up on that one. Um, that will restore your car to like brand new. It fills in little minor scratches. It's, it's incredible. Let me go on this side. But um, you can also just get a clay bar. And to be honest with you, I don't know if there's a difference between an automotive clay bar and just getting a bar of clay from like the arts and kit aisle or the arts and crafts aisle. Um, you can show me some things too. So it's not just watching. All right, guys. So we uh, always take all the decals, <coughs> excuse me, off of our vehicle. So the other thing that we want to use the clay bar for is if you can see, there's still a little bit of the residue from the um, stuff.
stickers that were on here that we removed. And then there's a little bit of scratches that we want to be able to take care of and fill in. So if you come over here, I'll show you. So we just showed you how it works on this awesome rhino paint that's on the vehicle. And now it also takes off that extra adhesive without damaging your vehicle, without taking the paint off. Because as you can see, there's no red at all. It's just the black from what I'm taking off. And always remember, keep it lubricated underneath so the clay moves freely. And my hands are starting to freeze. One of these days, guys, we'll have a garage with a high roof that uh, the truck can fit into. Yeah. As you see. So it's not you, can't really, you can't really see it, I'm thinking, on camera, but... I feel when I run my fingers over it, I'm feeling all of this, like the residue, the grit that's coming off. And I can see that it's like, if you see right there, see the peels, all the peeling, that's from the residue of the tape that was underneath whatever decals we removed. Okay, slip it up. Remember to keep it moist underneath. You got it moist. What are you doing right now, Jeremiah? Need it to a clean spot. Yeah. Just like clay. Just make sure it's not like a super black spot. That's good, buddy. That's good. So he's basically ripping it inside out to give it a nice clear surface, a little moisture. And away we go. You see it coming off before your eyes. See that? Those big bumps that were there, now gone. Good job, Jeremiah. Here is the end result that's drying right now. If you remember, the back still had all of that junk on it from the uh, stickers that used to be on there. Here's the lower panel area. It's completely free of all the black dots. Here's a side panel that's drying now. And then over here, right along there, there was a big scratch that I filled in and took care of. And then on the door, over here, there were some scratches, so took care of those. I'm not looking. I'm going to shut this real quick. And then right there, that's where the Chevy symbol was. You can see from the side, the Chevy symbol was there, or the residue of it, that's gone and touched up. Voila. Or if you get, you know, they have clay in the arts and crafts aisle. So I don't know if that's the same kind of clay or different. And as you can see, see this right here, guys? So that's happening because I didn't turn in time. So basically the clay is putting it back onto itself. And moisture. And then you just keep going. Yep. Scrub, scrub, scrub a dub dub. And the whole process, that other side took me less than 10 minutes this whole other side so it's not I mean it's definitely if you get over spray or if you want to do a rhino liner 
and you don't want to have to take off your bumpers to do it, I would suggest you take them off because you can't get into the crevices of painting it. But if you're doing a touch up, that's what happened with us is we had it done and then we were just doing a touch up and this came on up here. But to ever avoid having to do this from paint, just prep work is part of the major prep work is um, make sure you're, you clear off or you tape off your appropriate areas. And that's, we didn't get that. And guys, honestly, as much of as paint it is, the reason we didn't get that is because it was one of the kids that did this, but they didn't know, right? So it's just a learning curve but I'd rather have them learn and do it and now have to do this than, you know, never let them touch a vehicle because how else do they learn, right? So, if you found this helpful, if you liked it, if you have any suggestions, any comments, if there's a specific type of clay bar that you use, um, if there's any other product that you think goes awesome with this, uh, drop it in the comments below. And until then, like, comment, subscribe. This is Magnificent, signing out. Um, until then, like, comment, subscribe, like, subscribe, and this is Magnificent, signing out. That's weird.